Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repay guy, and welcome back to the channel. So, today I will show you the Thetted iCloud bypass on the T2 MacBooks on the latest iBridge OS 8.4 or 8.3. You can check out the supported model list on the screen. These models are supported for this process. So, first, you need to download the latest HFZ T2 RAM disk version 3. This is the new version in that they are only one click tool, so it's very easy as compared to the older version and to download this you need to check out the description link or you can go to my blog and you will easily download the tools from there after the download you can simply install it on your system Now once you have installed, you can run the tool. This is the tool interface, latest HFZ T2 RAM this activator version 3. Now next, you need to connect both these Macs with the Type-C to C cable at the closest port that is the left port. So you can just connect it and use the good quality C to C cable at both the ends. Now next, before we do the bypass process, make sure your blocked MacBook has the latest iBridge OS version installed. So if you have not installed that, you can just put the MacBook into the DFU mode and download the Apple Configurator 2 and restore your MacBook to the latest version. And after that, you can follow the instruction of the bypass. I've already done the restore process before this, so I will directly continue the bypass process. So if you have not done that, first do that and then follow this process. Now next, you need to put the lock mac into the dfu mode so you can check out the button combination as per the model on the internet i will display the screenshot on the screen for your help now once your mac is in the dfu mode it will detect by the hfz tool and itunes after that you need to first register the ecid in the server so for that just copy the ecid that are showing on the hfz tool and send me this ecid plus model on my personal telegram and i will register your device after the registration you can instantly use the tool then you need to just click on the patch button and after that just wait for the process to begin and you will see the checkmate exploit and some verbose boot on the locked macbook touch bar so just wait for it to get complete Alright now the patch is done and now tool will ask you to boot it so it's manually process you just need to click on the power button on the Mac and immediately press the recovery mode option so that we can install the process. So you have to be a little quick here just press the power button once then immediately press the command plus R or command plus option plus R these two option is available for the recovery mode to install the os command plus r will give you the default os comes with your mac and command plus option plus r will give you the latest os from the apple server so now you need to connect with the wi-fi and proceed further and it will take some time and make sure your internet is fast so that apple server can download the files and install the os on your system if your internet is slow you might face some errors so make sure connect with a fast wi-fi and then proceed and both the recovery mode option is working if you face any error in the first one you can try the second one or if you face any error in the second one you can try the first option so now you need to first erase your ssd so go to the disk utility in the command plus r the option might be different as per the recovery mode section now just erase the ssd and make the new partition and just follow me Alright now the SSD is erased and just go back and now install the OS. Now click on continue. Now I have used the command option plus R. That's why it's showing me Mac OS Sonoma latest version. So if you have used command plus R only that will give you the older version that is the default like Mojave, Catalina or High Sierra as per your model. Now let's just wait for it to get complete. I will just fast forward the video so that it will save time.
Now the OS installation is done. After that, your Mac will be reboot and on to the setup page. Now here, simply set up the device, connect with the Wi-Fi and just set up it. Now you can see the data and privacy page. That means the activation lock is completely bypassed. Now we are here to set up to the home screen. So now you can see we are on our home screen on the MacBook T2 chip. It is the completely bypassed and the latest Sonoma is installed. So it's a one click tool. It's very easy. You just need to put into the DFU mode and patch it. And after that install OS and the bypass will be done. So you can check out that it's working good. But there are some limitations as in the starting I mentioned it's a threaded bypass. So to reboot and shut down the Mac there are some special instructions. You need to always on or off Mac from the Apple menu options instead of power button because if you directly use the power button or your battery will be lost you just need to patch it again to revive your Mac. So always use the Apple menu option to reboot or shut down your Mac that will be safe and easy for you. So you can see that I have reboot the Mac from the Apple option and it's working good after the reboot. Now in case if you have used or by mistake the power button or your battery is lost completely. In that case you will see this activate Mac or activation lock screen again. But it's very simple. I will just show you a trick to revive your Mac so that you don't have to repeat the whole bypass again. You just need to put your MacBook into the DFU mode at this stage and open the HFZ tool and click on patch. And that's it. After the patch done, your Mac will be revived again and where you left, it will just resume that. So let me just show you how you can do that. So now the DFU is done on the lock pack. Now click on the patch button and wait for the completion. Alright now the patch is done. Now simply power on your mark. So now you can see the Mac is revived and on again normally without data loss where you left. So it's very easy if you have used the power button accidentally you can revive the Mac with a single patch button and if you want to reboot or shut down your Mac normally just use the Apple menu options that will be safe for you. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If yes just hit the like button and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel for more cool updates like this. I will see you in another one. So till then goodbye take care and peace out.